This is an AM FM radio based on the CXA 1619 BS. These are the power supply terminals. Mm, this seems to be the the uh, speaker out, output. Uh, it uh, seems like a mono mono uh, uh, single channel only. Mm, there is a switch that slides between AM and FM. This is a switch that slides between AM and FM radio. Uh, there is an oscillator coil as, as shown here. Um, this is the gain capacitor that turns the antenna and the oscillator coils. This is the antenna section. You can also um, see the ferrite rod that is inserted and uh, this seems like an IF tuner in the intermediate frequency tuner which is uh, based uh, based on uh, around uh, 455 kilohertz IF the um, this seems like a 455 kilohertz uh, IF filter These are the smaller antenna and oscillator coil and antenna coil. This is an um, this coil is is a tank tank, sec, tank section uh, 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 at the antenna input side. Uh, the this uh, this is the capacitor parallel capacitor with this coil. Uh, this seems to be the the tank tank circuit. And this is a, it's a very simple coupling capacitor. It's a coupling capacitor that is uh, connected with the uh, antenna input, so you can uh, give connection to the antenna uh, here at this at this point. You can give the antenna input. Mm, so this is how it looks like it's a very small uh, uh, AM and FM radio uh, uh, only have uh, the medium wave section and the AM band uh, only covers the medium medium wave band uh, you can also see the the 10.7 megahertz Ten point seven megahertz crystal. On the other side, we have the the tuning the tuning knob, which is connected to the uh, the shaft of the two J. I mean the gang capacitor is uh, connected to the tuning shaft. Um, this is a this to, uh, like a knob, an extension uh, where you can tune the uh, coil. I mean, tune this capacitor. Mm, so let's connect all the wires.
Thank <laughs> you. 